What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve quadratics using the AC method, all right? Now this method is called the AC method because if you look at this quadratic equation right here, all you have to do is take your leading coefficient, which is, represent which is represented by this A right here, and take whatever number you have at the very end right here, and then you just multiply those together. Okay, so we can apply that same thought process to this problem right here. So this first number is your A, this second number is your B, and this last number is your C. So the first thing you wanna do is take your A and your C and multiply them together, okay? So we're gonna take six times two and multiply those two together, okay? Now, what are two numbers that multiply to 12, but they also add up to seven, to your B term right here, okay? Which here we have a positive seven, right? Well, that would be a positive three and a positive four. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is replace this seven with a three and a four. Okay, but we're gonna do it in a, in a specific way. Okay, so first of all, let's bring down these terms. So we're gonna bring down our six x squared, bring down your a and your c, which is a positive two, right, plus two. Okay, now your b term right here in the middle, we're going to replace with the two numbers that we just found right here, a three and a four. So instead of having plus 7x, we're going to split it into plus 3x and plus 4x, okay? So you can see that this still adds up to 7x, okay? I'm just rewriting it using the two numbers we found over here, which were a 3 and a 4, okay? And since this has an x attached to it, right, that's why we also attached x's to these right here also. Okay, now the last thing we have to do here is simply factor this by grouping. And in order to factor this by grouping, all you have to do is take your first two terms right here and put those in a set of parentheses. And then take your last two terms right there and put those in a set of parentheses also, okay? And then you just factor each of these little groups individually, okay? So let's first factor this one right here, 6x squared plus 3x. Is there anything we can pull out from both of these terms? Well, yeah, there's 3x, right? We can pull a 3x out of both of those, right? And then here inside the parentheses, we're just gonna be left with 2x plus one. Okay, and then we can move on to this one, factor this one. So here we have a positive 4x plus two. So both of these, we can factor out a positive two, right? And then what's gonna be left inside of our parentheses here? Well, just to be clear, whenever you pull something out or factor something out, it's basically the same thing as dividing. Okay, so it's like we divided this term by two and divided this term by two. Okay, so here, uh, positive four x divided by two. Well, four divided by two, that's equal to two, right? And then we just have this x on top remaining. And then here, uh, two divided by two is just equal to positive one, right? So plus one, okay? Now, whenever you factor by grouping, you should notice that you got the exact same thing in both of your parentheses right here, okay? If you didn't, you might've done something wrong, okay? So once you notice that you got the same thing in both of your parentheses, all you have to do is rewrite whatever's there just once. So we're gonna rewrite it once. So two X plus one in parentheses. And then we're gonna multiply this by another set of parentheses. And what goes here? Well, whatever's remaining up here, okay? So we already dealt with our two X's plus ones, right? So what do we have left? We have a three X and a positive two. So that's what we put here, three X plus two. Okay, so then this would be your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.